gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello! Julian North from doingenglish.com here today with Christine. Hi everyone, welcome to Los Angeles, the Yay. city of stars. Uh, my name is Christine and I'm a mental health entrepreneur and I help people with everything related to mindset and psychology and it's a pleasure that you're here in LA. Yay! Yeah, how is it like to be here? Yeah, it's actually completely different to why I expected. Like the image that I had in my head of LA is just like, it's different. It's, it's, it's completely different. Um, but one thing I did notice is like a lot like Dublin, there are there seem to be a lot of people for whom English is the second language. Right. Actually, Los Angeles has one of the densest places in the U.S. of like foreign speakers, just like you. So a lot of people come here to learn English, and this is the perfect place. So if you want to travel here one day. Uh, I'll be giving you guys some tips. Hey. So, yeah. Sorry, I interrupted. The, the other thing I noticed is like everybody here, like the locals, seem to just be super confident. Mm. Like, all the time. It's like, wow. Confident. <laughs> so, if somebody's coming here speaking English as a second language, but they're a bit nervous, a bit shy about using their English, I think they're going to struggle here. Mm. What tips would you have for them? First of all, when you step foot into LA, it's really easy to get intimidated. So I have three tips to give to you guys to help you feel calmer when you come here. Uh, yeah, so the first tip is to acknowledge that, first of all, accept that it's scary, right? Accept that it's scary. And I want you to practice this when you come here. Please watch this video again. Go to his channel and watch this again when you come to LA. Before you talk to people or when you enter a big crowd here in Los Angeles, let's say you're gonna order food, you're gonna order, uh, buy clothes. I want you to close your eyes. I know it's a bit ridiculous, but it works. I want you to close your eyes. Follow me, come on. You're wearing shit, but close your eyes. Okay, take them off. And I want you to imagine the crowd around you. All right? You feel the jitters now, right? Okay. I want you to repeat after me. I am confident. Come on. I am confident. All right. Go in there and visualize yourself talking. All right. It's all in your head. And do this for 10 seconds. Imagine you're walking out there very confident and everything. And after you visualize it, I want you to take a deep breath. Inhale with me. And exhale. And open your eyes. And you'll feel calm. Surprising. That's the power of visualization. Tip number two, the same breathing technique. Let's say I'm talking to you, all right? I'm from Taiwan, which I am, by the way. And I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness, Byron, white person. And I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? And you're like, I can't visualize now, Christine. I can't do that 20 second thing. You're in front of me. What do I do? Do this slowly with me. Your body, lean back a bit, because your body is confident, right? If you're going in there like this, you'll be scared. Even just doing that, like, you're just putting my shoulders yeah. back and, and taking that breath. 100%. Posture. Kind of changes everything, doesn't it? 100%. So posture, change your posture, take a deep breath and talk. I don't want you to go, guys to enter LA looking like this, like, oh, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. No. We're going to do this because your students, Julia, stand back and talk. Right. And tip number three is more psychology. Uh, I want you guys to know that uh, I know we're all Asian, we're perfectionists. Uh, and really what's behind perfection is sim, is self-esteem. I'll touch more about that in the future. Yeah. Uh, but I want you to do and celebrate yourself every single day if you can to increase your self-esteem. To increase your self-esteem will allow you to be like less afraid of failure. And that's, I think, the essence tying it all back to Los Angeles. People here are scared, right? Every day you're scared but you still go for it. You know why? Because every day we celebrate ourselves here. Even though some days it sucks, we're like, it's okay, I did a good job today. And if you do this every single day, one day, no more perfectionism, and you'll feel like you can speak English with confidence. That's it. Brilliant. <laughs> and you know, actually, I think these three tips are pretty good for me too. Yeah? I've learned something today. <laughs> We've got a book coming out soon. Yes, I have a book coming out. It's for exchange students, uh, expats, 
immigrants. It's all about learning how to breathe. All of these things that I taught you guys. Anxiety, right? How do you deal with anxiety? How do you deal with loneliness when you're out here in a foreign land so far away from home? So it will be out soon and I'll let you know. Brilliant. Do you have somewhere people can go to get information about that already? Yes, so my website, www.christinechan.com. I have a newsletter there. I'll be updating it, so feel free to subscribe. Brilliant, okay. and I think we're going to do a longer, more detailed interview in the future. Yes. So look forward to that. Um, check out her website, head over to doingenglish.com, sign up for my free daily emails, and that's it. Let's go look for Disney. <laughs>